فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This question I'm going to be answering is regarding the hadith of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma uzamzam ma uzamzama lima shuriba lah ma uzamzama lima shuriba lah the water the zamzam water is what the person drinks it for what does the hadith mean the person asked is it sufficient that i just have my intention in my heart before i drink or do I have to actually utter it, the dua or what I want from my mouth? Which one is which? I say, Wallahu a'la wa a'lam, Allah is high and in more knowledge. The, the meaning of the hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the water of the Zamzam is what you drink it for, is to receive barakah, is to gain barakah. Because the ma'u Zamzam, the mere fact of drinking it is a intention. The mere drinking it is intention. For example, if a person drinks it to fill himself up, Allah fills him up. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person drinks it because he wants uh, Allah to kill him, Allah will kill him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he drinks it, seeking refuge in Allah from something, Allah will seek him refuge from that which he asks from. وَهَكَذَا and so forth. If the person drinks it with an intention that is good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you that good intention you intended. ولذلك عبد الرؤوف المناوي رحمه الله إن شرح في حديث شفاء السقب هذا حديث إنما إنها بركة هي طعم هو طعام طعم وشفاء السقب لا حديث عبد الرؤوف عبد الرؤوف المناوي إن هي شرح في كتاب فيض القدير إن كتاب فيض القدير the third volume page four hundred and eighty nine he said a meaning that meaning a شفاء من الأمراض إذا شربه بنية صالحة الرحمانية. It's a cure from the illnesses if the person drinks it with a good intention. Ah, so the drinking itself is okay. And as we all know, brothers and sisters, the drinking of the zamzam is a baraka. It's a baraka. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said إنها بركة وهي طعام طعم. It's a baraka. It's food. It's food. Zamzam water. وَشِفَاءُ سُقْبٍ And it's a cure from illnesses. It's a cure of illnesses. The hadith is narrated by Imam Al-Bayhaqi in his Sunan Al-Kubra, Tabarani in his Mu'jab Al-Saghir, Tiyalisi in his Musnad, on the authority of Abi Dhar, رضي الله تعالى عنه, Shaykh Al-Albani, رحمه الله, he authenticated in his Sahih Al-Jama. The original essence of it, the asal of the hadith is Sahih Muslim. Because Abi Dhar is the one who drank it. Until his stomach became what? He became fat. And those who are in Saudi Arabia who live in Mecca know that sometimes they might live on days just with zamzam water. And it is food. Literally, you get filled full up. Ramadan, I used to live on it for days. Not have no food, I only used to live with zamzam water. Iftar was zamzam water, and my suhoor was zamzam water. And I never used to get hungry the whole day. I was just like a person who had his suhoor and his iftar. Now, so it is food. As the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Also, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرُ مَاءٍ عَلَى وَجْهِ الْأَرْضِ مَاءُ زَمْزَمَ فِي طَعَامٌ مِنَ الطُعْمِ وَشِفَاءٌ مِنَ السُّقْمِ The Prophet said, it is the best water on the face of this earth. مَاءُ زَمْزَمَ The best water on the face of this earth. The hadith also is narrated by Imam al-Tabarani in his kabir and in his awsat on the authority of Ibn Abdullah ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه. As for pronouncing the intention with your mouth, as for pronouncing the intention with your mouth and saying it with your tongue, um, to be honest, there is no authentic chain of narration for it. And it's not something that every, any, any text has shown. As for the hadith where some say that Abdullah ibn Abbas, uh, that he was, if he used to drink zamzam water, when he used to drink zamzam water, he used to say, Allahumma as'aluka ilman nafi'an wa rizqan wasi'an wa shifa'an bin kulli da'in. That hadith is weak. That hadith is weak. Imam al-Hakim narrated in his mustadrak. Uh, 
And if you look at Irwa al Ghalil by Sheikh al Albani, the fourth volume, page 333, Sheikh al Albani weakens it. Um, so it is not permissible for the person to pronounce the intention when he wants to drink the water. Uh, and alhamdulillahi rabbil